Welcome to Get Your Learn On Essential Oils 101. This is my very first Facebook Live video. Um, if you can't see my eyes very well, let me know. Or if you can't hear me, just leave a comment. I'll be giving away a Christmas spirit oil at the very end. So go ahead and comment. Leave a comment on um, something that you like to learn or something that you like. Or just say hi and I'll put you in the drawing for it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started with my story. My story starts two years ago. My mom is really into oils, and my sister is as well. And my mom gifted me a kit for um, Christmas two years ago. And it came with 10 oils, and I was really excited, but I didn't know what to do with them. So I put them in my closet, and I pulled out my favorite one, which is lavender. And I diffused it with a diffuser that my friend had also given me as a gift. And um, it calmed my um, my kids down. I have four boys and a girl and my boys tend to get rowdy and I noticed that it calmed them down and it also helped me sleep. And so I used that for about two years until this past September I had a health issue that I couldn't resolve with medicine. And so I turned to my mom and to my sister and they recommended an oil and I tried it and um, it solved my health, health issue. And I was astounded, I was amazed I was just kind of flabbergasted that these really, really could solve even health issues besides just calming kids down. And I decided to share the oils with people. And so that was so neat. I also went to a convention with my mom in Salt Lake and I was really impressed with the company and with all the people who were there who were using oils. They weren't hippies. They weren't um, natural kind of people. They were smart, well off, really kind and lovely people. People that I wanted to be like. And so I wanted to said I want to be a part of this group. And I began my journey. And so I've been doing a few classes and sharing things online. And I'm, I'm still growing and learning. So today in this class we're going to learn two things. We're going to do how you use oils since I didn't know. And how to get the oils too. So there are three ways you can use the oils. Oils are aromatic, aromatic compounds found in plants that um, you can um, see you, you can that come when you squish the plants or when you heat the plants up so they're those little tiny compounds in the plants and you can use them aromatically you can use them topically and you can use them internally aromatically you put the oils in a diffuser it diffuses you can do it while you sleep while you're awake topically you put it on your skin or on your on your feet on your wrists on the back of your neck it's really good and internally you can put drops in water and you kind of check um, to see which ones you can take internally. Most you can take if it's from Young Living because they're therapeutic grade oils and you can also t put them in a capsule and take them that way. So it's kind of neat that way. There are 10 oils that every home should have and they come in a kit when you first get them. When you get your kit, these are what they come in. And the first one is peppermint and I pulled one out. And this is peppermint, it's a five milliliter bottle and they come in 15 milliliters as well. And this relieves headaches. I get migraines and I put um, peppermint in a roll on around my hands right here on my temples and on my neck and it relieves it. I don't know if it's the smell or if it just opens up my blood vessels, but it really can help besides any medicine that I take besides that. It also helps with digestion if your stomach is upset um, and it also helps drop a fever. My two-year-old had a fever yesterday and I put some peppermint on the bottom of his feet and that helped take it down some, which was awesome. The next oil is lavender. So lavender does three things specifically. It helps in relaxation of sleep. So you can diffuse it at night. You can put it in a cotton ball. You can drop it even on a pillowcase and it won't leave an oily stain because these are um, therapeutic grade oils that they're very... Um, high quality and they won't leave any oil stains on anything. Lavender also helps with scars. Um, if you ever get a burn, my mother-in-law had a burn on her arm from a pan and she put lavender on it right away. She has some oils and it didn't raise up. It didn't even get bright red. And the next day you could barely even notice it. You have to put um, cold water on it and then put the lavender on it right away. And that's really awesome how it works that way. And then you can also blend the oils together to help with your kids. And I love how these oils help as a mom, help the kids with anything that they need, any burns or anything that, this is kind of something you can add to your first aid kit. 
So you can blend lavender and tea tree oil. I'm sure you've heard of tea tree oil. And it makes a boo-boo blend. So if your kids bonk their knee or scrape their elbow, you wouldn't want to put it on an open wound. But if they bonk their knee or they bonk their head, one of my nieces fell off a trampoline. And we put a little bit of lavender and beluga in a roll-on on her um, on, on her head right there. And it really kind of took the sting off. And it made the bruising go down. And she loved it. She just was putting it on by herself and putting it on her feet and it's fine you can't have too much it maybe you can have a little too much lavender if you use like a whole bottle or too much of it but they love it and my two-year-old Declan loves loves doing that too and the next one is lemon and so they all look like this they're just kind of different colors and they only have different things in them but they're each of the bottle is what you have in your kit you get 10 11 oils you get 11 oils yeah um, lemon. Lemon does three things. It's good for cleaning. So I'd like to take a drop or two and put it on my washcloth and then put it on the sink and it shines up the sink really good and there's no chemicals. Put it in a spray bottle with water and you're chemical free with your kids. It's less of the toxins that you're going to have in your body. Um, it also cleans the air. So if you diffuse it or spray it, it's good for air fresheners. I know if you want your house to smell good, if guests are coming over, then you can spray that in your house and it can smell really good and really fresh is the lemon that they get from the oil from the rind from squishing the the rind and pressing it it also removes sticky labels and sap the other kids day my boys were climbing up trees that was in october and they came home and they had sap all over their hands and normally i would be like oh really like really but i put the uh, lemon on some cotton balls and i got it off their hands within like two minutes and i thought wow this is some amazing stuff and the next oil is a uh, cobiba, or you could call it co copiba. Um, it does three things. It um, well, it does other things, but the main three things: it supports your body's natural response to injury and irritation. And so, if you sprain your ankle, you can put that on your ankles. It will help reduce inflammation. It will help with the soreness of it. It will treat that. It also magnifies all other oils. So if you wanted to do lavender to help you sleep and you blended it with the Copiba oil, then it would be even more stronger and it would help you to sleep even better when you blend those two oils together. And it's from a kind of a tree, Copiba. I didn't even know about that oil. And it helps with digestion. So you could take two drops, put that in water, and drink it before you eat or after. And then it smooths things down, especially if you know you're going to go to, you know, country town buffet or something like that. Then you can go ahead and take that, or especially with the holidays, it helps and aids in digestion. All of these oils assist and support any of the, any of the health issues that you may have. Um, another one is Digi. So it's the same thing with, um, the same thing with, the digestion. This helps upset stomach, especially as moms or dads, when you want to help your kids. Um, you know, if you have anything gross with your stomach, diarrhea, throwing up, and I use this actually a lot. I don't know with boys, but I think the past three weeks I've used it like five times. And so I put it on a roll on and say, Mom, well, we've kind of had like the stomach flu going around. Mom, my stomach hurts. I roll it on your stomach and your organs have olfactory nerves. So your stomach can breathe, your heart can breathe, your brain can breathe. And so that's why you putting um, oils on your stomach can really help you and help um, the digestion or whatever you may need. It also has tarragon, it has ginger in it, and fennel, and I, I really love the smell of it. I kind of think it's, it's just calming and relaxing. I would just use it to help you to feel calm. It helps daily wellness when used daily, and if you go internationally on trips, you can put that in the water and it cleans your water, which is, it kills the bacteria in the water if you're ever traveling. And we're going to Hawaii soon, so maybe I will take that with me when we go. Um, the next oil is frankincense. It is my favorite oil. Well, actually, I have like three or four favorite oils. But I use this use this before meditation for a grounding and feeling and sense of purpose. So it helps you to kind of increase your spirituality. Frankincense grew, grows um, um, in the east, and it's actually taken from the resin of the trees. And so it's just neat oil to have. It also helps soothe the skin if you put it on wrinkles, and it's great for massage. So you can add that to a massage um, while you're getting that massage, and it helps you relax you and calm you down. 
the next oil that we have is um, Panaway. And Panaway is for pain and it also helps um, before after a workout. So if you're going to go work out at the gym, if you put on your muscles beforehand or after, then um, it, will, it will calm your muscles down if they're tight or if they're knots, then you put Panaway on it and it smooths it out and it helps um, not be so sore after a workout. Also, um, it supports healthy skin coloration and it contains wintergreen, hel helichrysum, clove, and peppermint oils. So it's really neat. It kind of has a medicinal spell to it, but it's good for also twisted ankles, um, sore muscles, anything like that. The next oil is um, the oil is purification. I really like this one a lot. I use it in my diffuser to help freshen the air and clean it, especially when the kids are sick. Um, it eliminates odors. I have dryer balls. I put a few drops on it and it freshens up and takes away any smell from the clothes. It contains citronella, lemongrass, lavender, rosemary, tea tree oil, and myrtle oils and it helps uh, moisturize the skin. I put some in a um, non-scented lotion and it really, it, I can tell that it locks in the moisture a lot more just from the plant oils that are in it and that it kind of makes it a lot more moist, especially in this Utah dry weather. My hands tend to crack when it is so cold out there. So it's neat to have um, an oil that you can add to your lotion and then it helps with your skin and helps hydrate your skin and that's called purification. The next one is called RC, and that's for anything respiratory, so like breathing. My son has kind of a cough right now, and I blended it with co um, coconut oil. Um, you can also blend it with peppermint, and it contains cypress, spruce, and three types of eucalyptus, which is really cool. My daughter was like, whoa, I can smell that across the room. I'm like, yeah, and you can smell it working, and you can see it. It helps with a cough, and you massage it on your chest, and um, or you can use it before you exercise to uplift. Sometimes if you're it's early in the morning and you don't feel like exercising, try putting that on, and then and then you can kind of help your airways breathe, and you'll be motivated to get up and get going and exercise. Um, I have a couple more left. We also have. Thank you for watching. It's awesome. You guys, good. Say hi, Christina, Noel, Holly. Um, stress away. It, the, when you get the kit, it comes with a little roller ball attachment that you can put on the stress away. I don't have it right now, but you just keep it with you and you can put it on your wrists and it helps you feel less stressed. I like to take it to Walmart and to Target. I kind of get stressed out in those big box stores. I don't know why. And then I can breathe and make calm um, buying decisions and I can even be kind to others and, and say, okay, hey, you go first or, oh, you know, oh, do you want this or, you know, something like that. Um, it contains lime and vanilla, copiba and lavender, which is a neat combination. And it helps reduce mental r rigidity, which I also need. Sometimes I feel like things should be my way as a mom and I can kind of put that on and say, okay, how else can I work this solution or how else can I help my kids um, make good choices and not just be like my way or the highway, kind of, sort of. Um, the last one is also my favorite, second favorite is Steve's, especially this winter time where everybody's getting sick and we got sick during Christmas. Um, everybody is except for Elizabeth and um, Elizabeth, yeah, that's about it. But um, if you diffuse it, it helps boost your immune system so that you won't get sick as easily. Um, it also, um, if you diffuse it, it helps just go in the air and reach everybody in the same room. It kills germs, bacteria. It can kill the H1N1 virus. And you could put, I have it in a water bottle, a glass um, spray bottle with water. And I clean the counters with it. And that helps kill all the bacteria off of it. But what's so neat about these oils is they have so many different uses. So you get, you know, ammonium AD, which can only help with one thing. You use it once, you put it in medicine cabinet, and then, um, you know, by the time you need it in a year, it's expired and it costs $10. These oils don't expire ever. It costs, they cost from 10 to $30. Some are more higher than that, but those are the not as used ones. And then you use them for various different uses, which are great. And you can just have it in your cupboard. You can use it for cleaning or for health or take it internally, whatever you want to do. 
and so it's neat. So I just showed you how you can use the oils, and then I'm going to show you how to get it. I have a link that I'm going to post in the comments afterwards where you could go to Young Living and to sign up to buy a kit. The kit comes with those 11 oils. It also comes with two Ninja Red Energy Juice packets made from the goji berries in the, in the East. It also comes with 10 sample um, vials that you can give to your friends just included with that. And it comes with a diffuser, which I think is awesome. So you don't have to go buy one separate. And it's a high-grade diffuser. It has high-grade quality plastic so that the oils in the diffuser will not degrade it. And um, it often runs for four hours. Um, and the room reaches up 10, 10 foot by 10 foot room of the diffuser. So the kit is really amazing that it just gets shipped to you. And there's different options. Oh, let me turn the camera around to show you. Oh, I can't figure it out. But the kit, these are the different diffusers that it can, can kind of come with. This is a home diffuser. This is a bamboo diffuser with $10 more, which is, I really like that one. And then this is the drop diffuser. And then this is the area diffuser. The kits are 160. They come with the diffuser. Um, there's also one kit that's more for 205. And they're just amazing. I love how the oils have changed my life and blessed my life. And I'm excited to just share it with people. I know they can't get it in the stores, so I'm willing to, to share it with people. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I may have talked too fast. Um, but, so those are the things that we talked about, how to use the oils and then how to get them. Okay, thanks. Bye.